One of the most important areas of view camera photography has always been architectural photography. And there's a good reason for that. Because when you shoot a tree and tilt the camera up, the top of the tree will be too small compared to the bottom of the tree. But nobody will notice because of the irregular shape of trees. But when you shoot a high-rise building and tilt the camera upwards, the top will look too small, it immediately shows. The straight lines of the building show signs of convergence. That means the vertical lines are not parallel anymore in the picture, like in reality, but they converge to a point somewhere above the building. People will see this as the building is leaning backwards. The view camera movements can help you out here. The Scheinfluke principle told us that the front panel, the rear panel and the plane of focus converge into one point. That point can be close to or far from the camera, but it can also be at infinity, which in fact means the three are parallel to one another. Just like every regular DSLR or mirrorless camera is built. But the view camera also gives you the possibility to move the panels without rotating them. But by shifting them. You can shift them horizontally or vertically. That's called the parallel movement. Parallel movement. There lies the key to architectural photography without the usually unwanted converging lines. The idea is simple, just move the front panel higher or lower the rear panel, but don't tilt the camera upwards. By keeping both the front and the rear panels straight up, the perspective is correctly rendered and by raising the front panel the whole building is being shown in the picture. At the same time the plane of focus is in the same upright position and the plane of focus can be moved exactly to match the front of the building, simply by focusing. Oh, and one more thing. It looks better if you leave in just a little bit of convergence. Our brain is used to it. It automatically compensates in part for the converging lines. So when you shoot a high-rise building and have everything exactly parallel, the top will appear too big. If you tilt the camera up just a little, the building will look straight, when in fact it has a little bit of distortion left your brain will automatically correct the rest of the distortion.